this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So allegedly, Sweetie and Lotto might be working together. Now, as we know, Sweetie was in the studio with Dreezy. She also was in the studio with Lakia and also Sway Lee. So allegedly, you know, her team thinks that it's a great idea for her to work with Lotto. Um, Lotto has been making some buzz. Um, and she's been doing a lot of collaborations too, but none of her collaborations have really popped off. You know, she did the Saucy Santana collaboration, Booty. That didn't do anything. Um, she did the Lakia collaboration. That didn't do anything. She did another pop collaboration with Anne Marie. That didn't really do anything. Um, but maybe her and Sweetie can finally get a hit together. I would be interested to see that. Now, if Lotto and Sweetie get somebody to write their bars, I think that it could possibly be a hit. Um, because like I said before, I don't believe that Sweetie is talented, but all she needs is a great writer because I remember when Quavo was writing for her for the ICEP that she put out in like 2018. Um, you know, that was a fire EP. I like my type. So like I said before, all Sweetie needs is a really good writer and she can get a hit record, okay? And some people say, oh, well, you know, we shouldn't really encourage female rappers not to write. Well, majority of them don't, even the older ones. Little Kim didn't really write. She had writers, okay? But she's still considered an icon and she's still considered a legend. So anyway, let me know how you guys would feel about a Sweetie and Lotto collaboration, also, allegedly, Lotto might collaborate with Megan Thee Stallion, so she could get two hit records. Moving on to Nicki Minaj and Mike Will Made It. Now, Mike Will Made It is a producer. He produced for a lot of big artists like Miley Cyrus, um, I think Pusha T, and Ray Schwimmerd. Um, Basically, he wants to work with Nicki Minaj again. He produced the single... Good form on the Queen album. Um, they have worked together in the past a lot of times. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, I don't know if it's going to be on Nicki Minaj's album because Ray Schwimmerd and Mike Wilmater are working on another album together. Okay. He produces all their albums and they're trying to make a comeback because TikTok is popping and they were making TikTok music before TikTok was even popular. So with that being said, um, let me know if you guys would be here for another Mike Will Made It and Nicki Minaj collaboration, him producing a single, and if you guys would be here for her collaborating with Ray Schwimmerd again, okay, because they haven't collaborated since like 2015, 2016. Now, Sway Lee and Nicki Minaj collaborated in 2018 on Chung Sway. And Sway Lee, in my opinion, is more talented than the other person in the group. Um, you know, he's worked with Beyonce, Janae Aiko. Um, so I think he could possibly go solo, but maybe he just don't want to. But I'm here for it. Um, but like I said before, it may not be on her project because he is working on other albums. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, moving on to Cardi B. Now, a lot of fans have been asking me, do I feel like Cardi B is using the barbs for her rollout? Um, she was going back and forth with the barbs a few days ago. Even yesterday, she was calling the barbs, you know, Barty Gain Jr., um, you know, she was shading them. And so, you know, Barty Gang and the Barbs were going back and forth on Twitter. And then when Foxy announced that Nicki Minaj was coming, it only got worse on social media. I will say this, um, don't get used. Um, if you know somebody is trying to get your attention, just ignore them. I do it all the time. Every single day, there is somebody you know, trying to get my attention. They want a response and I just ignore them. If the barbs ignore Cardi B, she really wouldn't have no type of, you know, career, no shade. The main reason why Cardi B is as big as she is now is because she beats with Nicki Minaj. Don't interact with Cardi B on social media. 
I don't follow Cardi. I don't go in her DM. I don't be in her mentions. I post about Cardi when something happens, okay? I post about Cardi on YouTube, not on my social media platform, when something is trending on social media, okay? When it's a topic of conversation. Other than that, Cardi B can't really get the time of day for me, okay? I'm not going back with no celebrity on social media. That's a waste of time. Don't let Cardi B use you for her rollout. That's basically all I had to say. Moving on to Rihanna and the Queen Bee. So their fans are going at it. And Rihanna fans are accusing Beyonce of not being able to sell out a tour. Um, accusing her of allegedly giving out free tickets in the past. And they also said earlier this week that she is using payola and nobody is streaming Break Your Soul, okay? So that rumor actually started from the Rihanna Navy stands, allegedly. Now, I will say this. Um, I think that a lot of Rihanna fans might be a little bit bitter because Rihanna hasn't released music in 17 years. So with that being said, they are just going to shade the queen of music no matter what. Um, but the queen of music got a hit on her hands. I don't think that she's using payola. And I definitely believe that the queen of music can sell out a tour. Okay. Um, the queen of music always was able to sell out tours. She made a hundred million dollars for her last tour. Okay. So I feel like, you know, a lot of the Rihanna Navy stands, they're a little bit bitter because Rihanna hasn't made music in years. Now, when Rihanna comes back, it's going to be very interesting because allegedly her voice is not the same. See, the queen of music has took care of her voice, unlike Rihanna, allegedly. But I think that the Rihanna Navy stands, they should want a collaboration between the Queen of Music and, you know, Rihanna. I feel like that would be a good look. It's not like anything has, you know, gotten physical between them. You know, allegedly, you know, Rihanna smashed Camel Face. But it's not like she threw a shoe at her at a Harper Bazaar event, okay? If it had gotten physical like it did with, you know, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj or Foxy and Little Kim, then I can understand why the Rihanna Navy stands would not want to um, have a Rihanna and Queen Bee collaboration. And yes, allegedly the Queen of Music, you know, leaked Anti. But at the end of the day, it's not like Anti um, is not successful. Anti is still on the charts. So even though the Queen of Music might have sabotaged Rihanna, you know, Rihanna got the last laugh. But with that being said, though, I feel like, you know, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, and um, Beyonce need to come together and make an R&B record, the Holy Trinity song, um, before they officially retire. And I think that we should encourage that, okay, because they are the most successful black women um, in the entertainment business. So it only makes sense. So anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing day.